Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to take a look at something in my shop, a little DIY project. One of the things that I've had a problem with ever since I've started doing some woodworking is dust. Dust, dust, dust everywhere. I'm not going to put in some big fancy dust collection system in here. There's really not enough room for one thing, but you know, I think I can do it with a shop back. So I bought something from Rockler, which is the dust right separator. And then I looked online and I looked for ways that I could make some kind of a mobile cart because when you're pulling the dust right separator that is on wheels and you're pulling the shop back, which is on wheels, they never seem to go together and they tip over all the time. I found an awesome video on modern builds by Mike Montgomery. I'll put a link down below. I don't want to take any credit for this build at all. I added one or two little things to it, but the main build is basically Mike's build and I'm showing y'all how I did it. So stay tuned and we're going to make a cart for a cyclone separator and a dust bag. Thanks for watching. All right guys, so here's another Jimmy DeResta inspired build. There is our dust right separator from rockler.com. Works very simply, pretty inexpensive. I had an old piece of half inch plywood sitting around. It's even a little bit bowed decided to use it for this and I used a little bit of 1x4 material to kind of give it a little bit of strength and kind of made a little bit of a frame just with simple 1x4 material that I had laying around. This did kind of straighten out the uh, plywood a little bit. Still not perfect by any means but much better than it was before I put the stuff on there to give it a little support. It's kind of assembly line here, just putting things in as fast as I can. One of the screws went just a little bit through, got a little aggressive with the gun there. Uh, got some basic casters at the Home Depot, I think they're about $3 each. And, uh, I wanted them to be able to, there's no locks on them or anything and none of them are stationary, they're all uh, rotating casters, makes it pretty nice. All right, so there's my rolling cart. Get the rest of the moment for you. All right, so now I have to make the uh, uprights, and I used pocket screws here to uh, to attach these, but kind of put on either side, and then I put some on one side on the right side of the piece and one on the opposite side I put it on the left so kind of creating a little bit of torque there just have a one inch dowel on the top here I am kind of positioning things try to figure out man I'll tell you what getting these casters off of that dust right separator wasn't easy so I decided to just put some little blocks of wood five blocks of wood it's a one by one material and um, I decided to just go ahead and mark. I marked the edges so I knew where to put them in space and then I just screwed them in. And that was a lot easier just because of the angle of the side of the shop vac it made it hard for me to get my screw gun in there. So I just put all those five in there and um, kind of remembered how I had positioned the shop vac, put it in originally, originally wrong and that's how I had it in there. All right, so now I'm doing the same thing with the separator putting the pieces around and marking them so I can go back with my two inch screws and going through there. Pretty simple, it actually holds it pretty well. So got it down on the ground, there we go, moving it around a little bit. And uh, decided to go ahead and get some hoses so I could do a little cleanup because I made a little bit of a mess. Works perfect see why I would want something to roll and why it makes it so easy to use. That's the final result. I'll talk at the end of the video about a couple of changes I've made, but a really simple uh, rolling cart for a dust cyclone and a shop vac. There you go guys, pretty simple, pretty easy way to make a uh, cart for your dust right separator. Any separator really, I'm sure if you have one of those it's a five gallon bucket. Uh, one thing that I did 
um, add, let me show you guys. I did put these uh, wooden pieces here that basically holds the um, extension cord. That just makes it easier to move around. Whenever you're moving around, you want to be able to carry the extension cord. I am also going to develop, probably just put a bungee over the top because it still is tippy to some degree. So I'll, uh, I'll put a bungee over the top. But otherwise, really, really great system. Easy to move around. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned here on Paleo Hiker MD for more outdoor videos, for more DIY videos, and uh, whatever comes my way. So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.